Hi Fandango, I'm Aubrey Plaza. And I'm Gabriel Bateman. In honor of Mother's Day and our upcoming horror film, Child's Play, we wanted to pay tribute to five horror moms. Oh, Wendy Torrance from The Shining. She's played by Shelley Duvall. She's such a good mom because she protects her son, and they're, they're in a very large hotel, I do remember that. And, and then there's the ice maze part. Moms don't like to be cold, so any mom who was sacrificed going to an ice maze for their son, that's a good mom right there. And she fought an ax with a knife, which is not a fair fight. Not at all, oh, but good. she's just doing her best. Rosemary's Baby. Yep. Wow, Mia Farrow. When mothers have a child, you get an inner strength that allows you to like lift cars and fight the devil. And I just love her pixie cut because she looked cool while she was doing it. Moms that fight the devil and still can look cool while doing it are good moms in my book. Ah, The Exorcist. Now this is one of my favorite mothers. Chris McNeil, played by Ellen Burstyn, who I love and I know you love too. You read her autobiography when you were five, right? Right. Her daughter was becoming possessed by the devil and she had to deal with a lot of throw up. It doesn't matter if you have the flu or if you're possessed by the devil and you projectile vomit, your mother will clean it up because she loves you. And that's what I learned from watching The Exorcist. A little trivia for you. I projectile vomit whenever I throw up, spews out, just like exorcist style. Next up, we have Poltergeist. Diane Freeland is the character of a mom played by Joe Beth Williams. Basically dives into some kind of a hell light portal and she doesn't know what's in there. It's just a big beam of light with some kind of demon screaming, pulling her children, sucking her children into this evil vortex and the mom just doesn't think twice. She just dives right in there, just like it's a you know, summer pool party. For our last spooky mom clip, because this one's gotta go to bed, we have Nightmare on Elm Street. What, mother? Don't With fall Marge asleep in there. Thompson. Thompson. Oh, you're so smart. Thank you. You did your homework for you once. You raised me well. I did, didn't I? She protects her child by setting Freddy on fire. Well, that's why Freddy's after her child. He's dead, honey, because mommy killed him. Okay, so she asked for it. If there was a man on fire running after me, I would do everything I can to just shove you in a closet and throw out the key and make sure that you're safe and sound because I love you, my son. Now, go to sleep. Good night, Andy.